osteochondritis dissecans of the knee. Osteochondritis dissecans is a condition that affects the articular cartilage and the subchondral bone of the knee. The lesion usually occurs in the knee on the lateral and posterior aspect of the medial femoral condyle. 70% of the lesion are in the posterolateral aspect of the knee. This is the distribution of the OCD lesion around the knee. Medial femoral condyle, 85%. Lateral femoral condyle, 13%. Patella, 1%. Trochlea, 1%. The chances of the lesion occurring at the lateral femoral condyle and patellar aspect of the knee is rare. Lateral condyle and patellar lesions will have a bad prognosis. The mechanism and causes of injury for OCD lesions may be multifactorial, possibly vascular, it is usually caused by repetitive overloading, causing fragmentation and separation of bony fragments. It can occur in juveniles with open epiphysis, usually during the ages of 10 to 15 years old. The prognosis is usually very good when the patient has open epiphysis. It can also occur in adults with a less favorable prognosis. Classification of osteochondritis dissecans of the knee. There are four stages. Stage one, depressed OCD lesion. There will be intact cartilage and a small area of compressed subchondral bone. Stage two, partially detached fragment. Stage three, completely detached but non-displaced fragment. This is the most common type. Stage four, completely detached and displaced. Displaced fragment can be a loose body. Symptoms and physical examination. Activity related pain, poorly localized tenderness, effusion, swelling and stiffness with or without mechanical symptoms. Mechanical symptoms indicates an advanced problem. Wilson's test. Wilson test is a test used to detect the presence of osteochondritis dissecans of the knee. Ask the patient to sit on the table with his legs dangling over the edge of the table. The patient's knee should be flexed to 90 degree angle. Grasp the patient leg and internally rotate the tibia. Instruct the patient to extend the leg until pain is felt. Ouch. The test is positive when the patient reports pain in the knee about 30 degree from full extension. When rotating the leg back to its normal position, the pain disappears. Internal rotation causes impingement of the tibial eminence on the OCD lesion of the medial femoral condyle, which causes the pain. External rotation moves the eminence away from the lesion, which relieves the pain. Imaging, X-ray, weight-bearing AP and lateral view radiographs, tunnel view, intercondylar notch view, MRI will check the size of the lesion, signal intensity surrounding the lesion, and the presence of any loose bodies. Prognosis. Age. Prognosis correlates with age. Younger the age, the better the prognosis. Location. Location in the lateral femoral condyle and patella have a worse prognosis. MRI findings. Synovial fluid appearing behind the lesion on the MRI correlates with a worse prognosis. A fluid signal on the MRI behind the lesion indicates that the fragment is unstable 
and is less likely to heal. Adult with prognosis, treatment, non-operative treatment, observation, limitation of activity, crutches, trial of non-weight bearing for six weeks and close follow-up. What are the indications for non-operative treatment? A stable lesion in children with open physis. The majority will heal as long as the physis is open. Good prognosis. How about operative treatment? Operative treatment is indicated if the fragment is detached, unstable, or loose in patients where the physis has already closed, is near closing, or if there is a failure of non-operative treatment. Surgical treatment usually includes arthroscopy and removal of the loose fragment or fixation of the unstable lesion or microfracture, which is drilling of the lesion. Arthroscopic drilling of the subchondral bone is done in children who approach skeletal maturity. Drilling of the lesion has a high success rate especially if the lesion is small and stable. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.